Hey everyone, JP with Oracle Lighting here. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to install the new Oracle Vector Grill on the Jeep Wrangler JL. The Vector Grill was one of the most talked about new products at the SEMA show. We know you've all been waiting for the official release, so let's get started. We begin by opening the hood and removing the factory hood seal. This is held in by retainers and is reusable, so take your time because we will reinstall the seal later. Now we can remove the retainers across the top portion of the grill. I'm using a flathead screwdriver here, but if you have access to a panel tool you can use that as well. With these plastic retainers now removed, the grill is held in with 8 retainers across the bottom. These simply pull out but can be tricky, so take your time. Lastly, we just need to remove the headlights. These are held in with 3 10mm bolts each. Simply remove the bolts, unplug the headlight harnesses, and set the factory lights to the side. You can see here that the grill is held to the radiator panel cover with eight pop rivets. Normally you would just drill these out, but this type of rivet tends to spin, so we are going to remove these by simply cutting them off. Now we can remove the inner grill support from the outer grill by removing these clips. Remove the metal clips from the factory grill and snap those onto your new vector grill. Now we will separate the inner grill support from the upper core support panel. You'll need to cut this across the top of the grill. I'm using tin snips, but any snips that can cut smoothly through plastic will work. Now we can attach the core support panel to the new vector grill using the supplied hardware. ready to install the vector grill. Plug in the headlights using the plug and play connectors. No additional adapters are needed. Now we will route our main power and ground wires for the DRLs to our power source. We'll be using the passenger fender here as we'll be using the fuse panel. We ground the black cable to the ground log located here on the passenger inner fender. There is already a ring terminal on the cable for easy installation. Remove the fuse panel cover and drill a small hole towards the back corner. We'll be using this hole to route our power wire into the fuse panel without it getting pinched. With the wire through, connect it to the included fuse adapter using a crimp tool. We'll be connecting to fuse F52 for automatic control of the DRLs. If you wish to have manual control over the DRLs, you can connect the red wire to a fused upfitter switch, S-Pod, or similar. Be sure to test the DRLs, low beams, and high beams before moving forward. With the grill now in place, we'll reinstall the factory retainer clips across the top. These go right back in as they came out. Make sure the lower retainer clips are secure by pushing them firmly. The last step is to reinstall the factory hood seal. Be careful because these clips are delicate. You will notice that this grill is painted to match. Normally the Vector Grill will ship flat black, but there is an option to special order the Vector Grill painted factory colors if you desire. Contact your Oracle sales rep for more information. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out oraclelights.com for more information.